Hi everybody, welcome back once again to the Eastfield Gunroom YouTube channel and today we are going to have a first look at, without a doubt, one of the most prestigious shotgun brands in the world. So today we are going to look at a Parazzi. Now, worldwide, Parazzi are kind of at the pinnacle of European shotguns. Yes, you've got the likes of Fabri, Bosis and Piotti, but they are kind of another level. They're almost kind of cottage industry gun makers that make you know very very small numbers per year so perhaps were formed in 1957 and in terms of a lot of other italian gun makers they're quite a recent company let's not forget the Breta are almost 500 years old now and in the early 1960s perhaps he enlisted the help of a trap shooter by the name of mattarelli i think his first name was anilo something like that and in 1964 he broke a world record with the mx8 which is the gun that he had designed with the help of perhaps with his shooting expertise knowledge and requirements and ever since then he has gone on to be an absolute world beater to date dozens and dozens of olympic medals you know they kind of in direct competition with beretta certainly domestically in italy and in terms of perhaps versus beretta if you like they are so different in many ways and this is why i wanted to show you this gun and kind of explain the differences the main thing with perazzi they are based in italy they are down in the brescia area but they're not in the same kind of area as a lot of the gun makers like uh zoli beretta etc which are in the the, the valley of god only of a bit out of the way and the, the key thing with Parazzi is they have so, so many options for shotguns. They are so customizable and so bespoke. So to put things into perspective, Parazzi make on average about 1,500 guns a year, and that is it. And the reason for that is they are completely handmade. So in terms of continental shotguns that are not, ridiculously expensive like we talked about fabri piotti and bosis what they do is they offer the options that you would expect to get from a, a high-end london maker here in the uk like boss holland and purdy without spending an absolute fortune and with of course a different level of artisan craftsmanship so the mx8 was birthed in kind of 1964 and as a trap gun it won absolutely everything olympic gold silvers commonwealth medals the lot and it was the gun that without a doubt put Parazzi on the map so fast forward 60 plus years and they still retain their position right at the top in terms of what is available on the continent and what can be bespoke in many many ways to give you an example you can have a Parazzi made in anything from sort of 26 inch barrels right up to 33 and 34 if we talk about the rsr models which is the guns with the reverse ribs i think there's something like 28 different rib formations you know what you've got here is you've got a gun maker that is completely doesn't conform to everything else in terms of mass production because they are made completely by hand and because of that you know the end user can choose exactly what stock dimensions they want which other manufacturers do offer you know you can go to italy to Brescia and have a custom stock made but what you can't do is you can't say i want my barrels to be 1511.6 grams at parazzi they have the facility to do that so the parazzi design is kind of inspired by english gun makers like woodward like boss because it's this low profile action not dissimilar to the renato gamba which we have done a video on the daytona so do check that out and because of the service that Parazzi offer in terms of, you know, your exact requirements are the basic MX-8, if we go back to that um, Olympic gold winning MX-8 trap gun in the 1960s, was a plain black action. Obviously, things have evolved since then. Um, because of the low production scale, they can do exactly what you want. And this particular gun we're going to look at is a highly prized sporting version of an SC3, which is a hand engraved competition gun. Now, this gun is completely hand engraved from start to finish. Now, the SC3 is available today in dozens and dozens of different engraving styles. Obviously, again, because I keep referring back to the word bespoke, you can go to Parazzi with a photograph of your dog standing by the Christmas tree and they'll engrave it on it, whatever you want to do. But on this one, we've got a nice mixture of very, very deep scroll with a flighting duck over a pot. And the, the attention to detail, obviously, you'll see it in the close ups. You've got the bulrushes, the reeds, the mountains in the background. And on this side, you've got partridges. And it, it's just absolutely superb. Yes, I've touched on the fact that laser engraving has got to the point where it is so good these days that we don't 
necessarily need to have guns hand engraved anymore but you can't detract from the fact that this is a, a supreme talent and people do still want guns that are hand engraved because it gives that very individual stamp of the engraver to your shotgun so what we've got we've got the deep scroll here now Today, if you buy an SC3 or you get hold of an SC3, the scroll engraving is referred to the 100 scroll, the 101 scroll, which is slightly finer. They put gold in it. Like I said, there are literally dozens and dozens of options. You know, there are no limits what you can have engraved on your Parazzi. So there we go. We've got a black top lever. What's quite interesting is with most Parazzi actions, because of course they derive from the success of the trap gun, talking about the MX-8 here, is they are to all intents and purposes when you look at the backstrap, non-selective. Now this is a sporter from the late 1990s and the selector is actually on the trigger. Again, not dissimilar to the gamber, so you've got a little block that pushes across to decide which barrel you want to fire first. Some of the later guns like the MX2000S, etc., you can have a, a standard selector on the, on the backstrap. But because it was derived from a trap action, in all essence, when you first look at the gun, non-selective, and you will see many, many MX-8s in all kinds of guys, escape, trap, sporting, whatever, that are actually non-selective triggers. Gold trigger, not adjustable. Interesting point, I don't think I've ever seen a Pratsy with an adjustable trigger for some reason. Again, it might be the fact that they're bespoke and they're exact and, you know, they although they do make standard guns in standard dimensions that it's something that they don't consider important now what is the key point with the mx8 is i would assume it was the first gun to feature a detachable trigger so we've looked at detachable triggers in the past with the dt11 and the gamba etc and the three key points of having a detachable trigger particularly on a competition gun i keep going back to a competition gun because the mx8 and parazzi is you know competition is their thoroughbred is their history uh is for safety maintenance and of course if you're shooting all over the world in competitions like our man Mattarelli did in 1964 if something heaven forbid should go wrong with the gun everything is encapsulated in the trigger so you can whip the trigger out and change the parts while you're on the shooting line as daft as it sounds so in terms of the barrels like i said dozens and dozens of options endless options in terms of barrel lengths you know a question of what is what is doable by parazzi because they're handmade they will manufacture for you to a point and um, because that this is a 30 and a half inch barrel now not many continental gun makers the italian ones produce barrel lengths of 30 and a half 31 and a half 30 and three quarters you might remember from the bretta 682 gold video that bretta did have a go when they came up directly against parazzi and thought we want a piece of this market and we're going to have these obscure barrel lengths but for practice, it's kind of the norm. And what that does is it gives the shooter the option of having the exact kind of barrel weight because this barrel weight is 1540. So 13 and a half inches, 1540 grams. If you wanted it 1550, you could argue put half an inch on it and you can, you can tailor make, and that's the key point here. You can tailor make whatever you want in terms of your shotgun requirements and your aspirations. And it's exactly the same with the ribs. So what you got with the rib, this is the 711 uh, tapered rib with a tram line, which I would say is the most popular one, certainly here in the UK from a sporting point of view. But going back to those older trap guns, quite often they have an 11 or a 13 mil parallel rib. Again, the sky's the limit. You can have whatever you want. Now, interestingly enough, most Parazzi's come fixed choke. The majority of them are three quarter and four because Parazzi understand that people can then have them taken out to their requirements. They're also available to order in anything and again there's no limits in terms of chokes perhaps you offer 10 different chokes from cylinder right up to extra full if you look at the barrels here we've got little dots on and what those dots there little round circles and they denote the choking of the barrels 18.4 barrels again with boring it's exactly the same if you wanted to have a Parazzi spec to just shoot fiber watt game cartridges, the argument there is you could go for nominal bore barrels like this is, this is 18.4. They're also available 18.5, 18.6, etc. And this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a manufacturer that will literally, within you know whatever parameters they can work with in a machine, build you whatever you want. So you've got the, the verificated lumps on the bottom here, again, like the Gamba, SC3 there. Again, nicely finished, all hand polished, very, very nicely done. Chrome line barrels, as you would expect. And interestingly, as again, we've touched on before, this gun is two and three quarter inch chambers, which is 70 mil, because I don't know why it is, but I think on the continent, 
they have this obsession, if you like, that if you're shooting two and three, four inch cartridges, 70 mil, you should put them in 70 mil chambers and that will enhance the ballistics and you won't lose any pressures, etc. I try not to get into too much of that, but that's, I think, is their, is their thinking behind it. So 30 and a half inches, quarter and a half. Now the gun weighs seven pound, 12 ounces. In terms of balance, they are factory balance. Now this is a standard gun that was purchased, like I said, back in the late 1990s. And because they're handmade, they will be factory balanced. Again, if you're specking one up, having one bespoke, tailor-made, whatever, you can have it stock heavy, barrel heavy, whatever you want. But this one with fixed shape barrels and seven pound, 12 ounces, out the box is maybe a tiny, tiny bit nose heavy, but for all intents and purposes, all the weight there is pretty much between the hands, which is what you would expect. Now, one of the key things about Parazzi, apart from their handling, is their exceptional trigger pulls. If you speak to a Parazzi owner, Parazzi shooter, they will tell you that the trigger pulls are like nothing else. Now, with this gun being an MX-8, it has got flat V springs, which gives you in essence the crispest trigger pulls you will get and with this being like i say the mx8 design is the dropout trigger design so what i'm doing is going to drop the trigger out and just like we did with the renato gamba very very impressive you've got your hammers you've got your springs like i said the idea with the detachable trigger is for supreme reliability should you need to change anything swap it out you can do in fact, we'll look in the case shortly usually there's a little spares kit which actually gives you a tool to take the springs out so you could do it on, on the shooting line. Because again, I keep referring to the fact that we're looking at a company here that you know, was put on the map because of its trap shooting pedigree. Yes, we've come a long way since then. They're hugely popular with game shooters, uh, sporters. Let's not forget George Digweed, probably the best shotgun shooter in the world, sponsored by practically for a number of years, still uses one today and will beat most people in the world on his day with it. So if you look on the bottom of there where the trigger group locates, you've got the engraver's signature, you know, the very highly skilled artisan that spent multiple, many, many, many hours engraving this. Um, this, I believe, is a standard specification gun, so nothing extra here. Although, again, when you, when you order one of these guns, you have the option to have essentially whatever you want that like i said i keep using the word limitations but there there just aren't any so moving on to the wood i can't remember the last time i saw a piece of wood that's as good as that now i understand this was actually upgraded from point of order from sc3 to sco grade and even though a number of practices i always say to customers if you buy a practice here in the uk nine times out of ten you could be buying someone else's dimensions because for a number and number of years they have specialized in having people over to the factory to have custom stocks made choose exactly what they want in terms of the height of the cone the length of the stock the shape of the grip the palm swell everything a bit like having a suit made and there's always the concern that if you do pick up a second-hand parazzi that you might be buying someone else's dimensions Aside from that, they do make standard guns. Typically, you will have either 3550 slot dimensions or 3555 for a sporting gun. Obviously, the game guns are usually a bit lower, and in proportion, you will have a, you know, a reasonable pistol grip on a sporter. This one's actually 15 inches with a standard Pratsy book pad. All the book pads obviously fitted by hand as part of the hand building process and finished off in the factory. That is, like I said, an absolutely stunning piece of wood. It's got the original factory finish on it, double point checkering, all checkered by hand and matched very nicely. Now this is a four end design, which I feel more and more people are kind of trying to copy, trying to emulate because it's just so good. So you've got this kind of flat side with a slight curve on the front no horrible lip schnabel that people don't like and have to have filed off. I particularly like the style of the checkering going in here. Parazzi on the bottom of the forend, I'm not 100% on that, but again, that would be an option. Um, you could have it, take it or leave it. In fact, if we, if we wind the clock forward to the um, current high-tech models, they've got high-tech on the stock, which personally I think looks absolutely dreadful. Let's pop the forend back on. And when you open and close these guns, they just feel absolutely fantastic we'll pop the trigger back in so it's just a question of locating the trigger group where it came from pushing the selector forward and it should just go in so as you would expect with a, a premium parazzi you get a premium parazzi case like i said before when we try and source these guns to review we try and get something that's as original as possible this is original 
original stock dimensions, original chokings, not been messed about with, genuine one owner gun. And because of that, we do get the case and all the accoutrements inside. So we've got a very, very nicely finished. Again, it's all premium. Parazzi are without a doubt, they're at a different echelon in terms of Italian gun manufacturers. Like I said, we don't we discount the likes of Piotti and Fabri because they are making, in some cases, single, well, slightly into double figures of numbers uh, of guns each year. Whereas these guys sit smack bang in the middle of what is mass production for the likes of Caesar Green, Eurozini, et cetera. And obviously the elite, if you like, like, like Fabri. You know, the, they've had their stronghold in the market for a number, number of years all over the world. Olympic shooters still use them, still win medals with them monthly, yearly basis. So into the box, leather corners, not too sure about the interior, but let's remember it was built in the 1990s. You know, it does look a little bit like the inside of a Ford Sierra, but that's what it is. Nice brass locks. We've got the embossed logo on the top. And what you tend to get with all Parazzi's, although sadly it's missing with this one, is you tend to get a little book of words and it tells you all the stock dimensions. So typically, like I say, we say that'd be 35, 50, 15 inch length of pull, but it also gives you the cast dimensions, whether it's left or right hand cast. And it's just a nice little thing to have a specification sheet because ultimately, if you wanted another stock building for your Parazzi, for argument's sake, you didn't want to take this out because it was too nice to take it out pigeon shooting, then what you would do is you would just get a standard stock and you'd have your dimensions already. You get a little serial number card, which is the warranty, which sadly has expired now. And we talked about the spares. Now in here, we have got spare firing pins, spare V-springs, and that's the tool to replace the V-springs with. Something I've never done, although I do know that because of how good the trigger pulls are on the MX-8, they do tend to be a little bit fragile sometimes. So most Parazzi owners in their lifetime will have experienced this little box and changing a mainspring. Stock tool. Same as you would get with a lot of modern guns. It's always a good idea to put it up the uh, up the back end and just give it a twist. This one's actually labelled MAP, which is uh, Mattarelli friend and Parazzi. I'm not sure the A stands for and, but you get my you get my drift. And we've also got some Colgate, although it's actually Parazzi genuine grease. So like I said, this gun has just not been used to finish off. We've got the nice little velour socks, and again, it's just a nicely packaged thing. Uh, a very universal gun. This is a sporting specification one. Like I said, we've got the 7-Eleven rib. We've got absolutely out of this world exhibition grade wood. And it's all about the handling. It's all about the feel. With Italian guns like this, I, I, I kind of compare them a little bit to Alfa Romeo owners because what they do is they just, there's just something about a Parazzi, if you're a Parazzi fan, that will bring you back to the brand again, again, and again. And for a lot of people, it's the design of the boss style mechanism, the superb trigger pulls, and the out of this world balance. So that has been the Parazzi MX8 SC3 Sporting from me, Matthew Morgan, Eastfield Gunroom. If you've got any questions about this gun, please comment below, comment me directly. Don't forget to check out the website. And from me, I'm the first Parazzi we've done on this channel. I'll see you again soon.